Hey everybody, BTO Pro here. Today we're gonna look at a web component that we use to do what should be a really simple thing, but is actually pretty complicated on the web. It's drag and drop uploading of media. So we're gonna look at the Vadden upload tag by itself, a little bit about its API, and then how we leverage it in Hack CMS, which you are looking at the front door to here. So context of where we have used this, I'll pull up a test site in Hack CMS, and where we leverage uh, a really fancy drag and drop upload tag is seen in the editor a couple places. So one, we pull up our ad area. This is the Vadden upload tag just by itself, uh, Vadden hyphen upload. Now, all the code that I'm gonna step through and I will step through some of the code behind the scenes as well, uh, can be found in our mono repo, elmsln slash LRN web components. Uh, the majority of these things are gonna be under elements and then under, uh, in this case, hacks body and lib directory, which then you'll see hacks hyphen upload field. So this is the guts to what we are going to be digging through today. So. Uh, what Vadden Upload does, though, just so we can see it in action, I can take a photo from my computer, drag and drop it, and it brokered that relationship. Now, it's not doing this piece. I'm leveraging the events going on in there and its data binding to listen for when it's been uploaded. Uh, and then when it's been uploaded, I handle that event internal to Hack CMS. So Vadden is just doing the thing that it's great at, right? I just put that in the page, and now that's up there. But I, as the developer, didn't have to think about any of the, com the complexities of this. Um, if we inspect and look at what that looks like in the DOM, we can see there's a Vadden hyphen upload tag right there. Um, and it's just sitting on the page, right? This is living inside of uh, what's called Hacks Manager, which handles that side of the page. But, um, we can dig into and see the guts of Vadden Upload, but that's not the part we really care about. What we care about is that we've been able to wire it up to other things um, and listen for events off of it. So how we discovered this, went to webcomponents.org, and I actually think I just searched for Upload. And there's a couple things that came up, but Vadden Upload came up. And Vadden's been around for a while. Um, they have a really impressive element set in general, uh, like everything I've played with by them is great. Um, we specifically use the uploader and grid quite frequently. Um, they do have other things, uh, split layout we've used occasionally as well. But so uh, it's really nice, easy to get into. You can read through the documentation here. And basically, uh, if you just feed it an endpoint, now I think they want you to, oh, there we go, I'm looking at the docs for it. Um, you feed it an endpoint and it kind of takes care of everything else. So um, they do have some nice uh, flexibility as far as the styling. And then you can go down and see things like what it accepts, uh, that it has an array of files and that it has file objects, um, the form data name, like what it should be when it does the submission. You can give it headers, right? It's got a ton of flexibility baked into it, but it's actually really easy to pass stuff to it. Um, you can do, you know, max files and say it can only accept two files. You can turn off the drag and drop aspect. I don't know why you do that because that's like the coolest part. Um, define the target and this is what it's going to on the server. See the server URL. As far as where it should be sending that, whether or not you have credentials, all that great stuff. All just baked into that single tag. So because they've got that out of the way, we can leverage that tag here and you get the nice drag and drop. Um, but... We haven't even looked at hacks upload. So that's just leveraging the tag like in the page, right? So if I were to open hacks upload field, and we poke through it a little bit, uh, we can see that hacks upload field dynamically imports Vadden upload. So because it's a dynamic import, we're not blocking the render tree to get this tag up there. You can see we then do a ton of bridging styles between our element, hacks, and this thing called Lumo, which is their design system. And then we get down here, we've actually got a field set and a picker uh, that Nikki's made, it's called Simple Picker, to pick between different options. And then we have Vadden Upload buried down in here. So in the way that Hacks leverages Vadden Upload, you can see there is 
uh, file upload response, and file upload response is what we're going to get to, is an event listener of upload response that's being attached to this item discovered in the, our shadow root here. So the way that hacks interfaces with this tag is it listens to before upload, see this file about to upload callback, and then it stops the event. It doesn't want it to actually submit until hacks has gotten involved. Now, the reason for this is that hacks allows you to have multiple things define being the backend for where to send this file. So in the example with hacks CMS, currently we only have one endpoint. You drag and drop it and it goes, oh, there's only one target, whatever, just select it. Um, but you could theoretically have like Box or Dropbox or Google Drive and Hack CMS and local storage, all these different uh, options. We want to be able to broker that when you go and do the drag and drop. Now on the response side, you can see uh, that we go through and we parse the object that is coming to us. And ultimately, we're just trying to get a URL. Um, now in the case of uh, our field here, you see we query something that is a simple picker input ID. So we actually set a URL with the response from that and upload. And then we act upon changes to that value. So to see what that looks like, because it's not this, right? This is just direct usage of the VAD and upload tag. And what we're about to show is using a tag in a tag. Um, so I'm going to go to make and I'm going to select a image, but you know, a different type of image. Let's do full width image. And this is that hacks upload field. So notice it's got nicer styling and it looks more consistent with the ha rest of the hacks interface. This is that VAD and upload area, but we've pegged it to other data binding going on. So now, thanks to Nikki Simple Picker, I can switch over to a URL and I could drop in a URL to a photo and it would render there. Or I can go back to that awesome little camera widget because that very first camera widget, it's its own web component that can bind and pull back an image off the DOM. And what's interesting is based on the way that we've used events here for that photo in particular, what I'm doing is I'm taking that photo and then sending that to the Vadden uploader as a file and then it's sending it up. So now if I go to Vadden upload because of the way these data bindings all take place, I can actually see that it generated a file on the fly called headshot and then allowed VAD and upload to do all the brokering. It's pretty awesome. So, or I can go back to VAD and upload by itself and I can take a wonderful photo, drag and drop it up there and we have it up there. Ah, a nice glass of whiskey. Update and that's in the page which it kind of overflows this design a bit. It's a known issue that we have in the queue. Um, so that is, that just about go, there it is. Um, that basically covers everything I wanted to with Vadden Upload. Um, we end up replicating this type of a paradigm quite frequently as far as leveraging something that already exists, styling it because it's solved a huge complex problem, and then either leveraging it by itself or wrapping it into other components. Um, so we don't use VAD and upload directly as much. We're starting to encapsulate a lot better um, so that we can do more complex things like that hacks upload field that you just saw there. Um, but you can also see there's the camera hole um, element there and that this actually pulls in simple camera snap, which is the exact same tag that we used at the beginning when I was talking on this recording. So if you have any more questions about uh, any of our elements, we've got over 300. You can check them out at uh, webcomponents.org. has a lot of them listed, or you can go to elmsln slash LRN web components and look in the elements directory to check them out. Uh, if you have more questions about Vadden, I would highly recommend looking into Vadden's uh, project more, um, even just beyond their upload tag, which is fantastic. They have a whole site that's dedicated to documenting uh, their different elements. Uh, it's really, really slick. They been doing an awesome job uh, as far as being a good partner in the web component space. So that, until the next element we cover, have a good weekend.